Hi. Pat from New York sent us a, a question on our blog post. He asked, is there a prescribed maintenance frequency uh, for the Mark 95 regulator? Um, he said there are differing opinions in general upon regulators and, and, and other valves like it. He said some people run to failure versus others you know, will change that every two years. The components on the Mark 96 and the Mark 95 uh, series regulators are built to last a long time. PM practices will vary across the industry. Some folks change all the seals out every six months. Others wait a year. Uh, some others will will do it after two years. And, and we have some other customers, actual customers, that will run to failure. Um, so it varies across the industry. Um, just to give you a few examples, we have a, a customer on the East Coast, uh, a biofarm company, that has a huge population of, of Mark 96 uh, regulators, uh, over a hundred of them, and they did a study recently and found that only one regulator uh, out of that population of a hundred or more failed within a nine-year period. So that's a pretty good benchmark um, because these, these regulators are used on clean steam and most other common biofarm services. Another example, on the West Coast we have a another biofarm customer in Northern California um, that has our control valves installed, a huge base of control valves. Those control valves, he leaves in for four years. That's their normal PM cycle on that. And he's, he's also told us that he, he has asked his management if they can extend that to seven years. That's how much confidence they have in that, in that diaphragm and, and the wear parts that are in the, the 978. Um, the diaphragm is the key to our product success, to the longevity. Um, it's the primary wear item in the valve. Um, there are also some O-ring seals in, in our valve and in other manufacturers' valves, but generally speaking, those are less wear items. So, Pat, to go back to your original question, um, you can extend the, the change-out on your PM. I would do it in the following manner. I, I would inspect at your normal PM period for valves uh, of this class. So if it's every six months, I would inspect at six months. Look at the seal components, the diaphragm, look at the O-rings. If they're not worn, uh, put them back in and, and, and run to your next cycle. Take a look at them again. And then just make, uh, make a judgment based on what you're seeing on the ground. But just to give you some confidence, we do have a lot of customers that do extended um, that do extended cycle times on their PMs uh, due to the, the history they've had with this valve. Thank you.